right now I'm riding Hong Kong's famous red taxi. So I personally grew up watching a lot of TVB or like Hong Kong dramas and red taxis were just like something you saw, you know, it's kind of like the, you know, New York City yellow cab. Alright, so right now I'm walking through the streets of Hong Kong and we're headed to Tim Ho Wan or Bim Ho Wan. It's uh, supposed to be a very famous Michelin starred dim sum restaurant and um, my parents aren't super convinced that's going to be good but a lot of my friends have recommended it so I'm going to go try it out and you can actually see my family behind me all just following me, they don't know where to go. So, right now we're at Timo Wan, the world's cheapest Michelin star restaurant. And what they're known for is their dim sum and their flaky pork buns. So, we just left Timo Wan and the verdict their pork buns are good, everything else is just. It's good on New York standards, but on Hong Kong standards for dim sum, it's just average. Or, you know, around that point. But it wasn't expensive. For like seven people, we paid like 60 USD. So that's pretty good. Alright, so now we're on our way from Hong Kong. We're heading to my village. It's called Enping, or you know, it's Yunping. But now we're leaving Hong Kong now and heading to my village in China. And we have a limo car van that can actually cross the Hong Kong border into China because it's got one of these cool double plates. Check that out, yo, look at that right there. That way it's legal to drive in both Hong Kong and China. Pretty nice bathroom, shower, an actual toilet, and you might think it's weird for me saying that, but in China, sometimes having an actual toilet is a very big luxury. Here you go, your usual stuff, and they have like a toiletries box of some sort. Also, you have toothbrush, shaving stuff, comb, shower cap, mini kit, etc., etc. Pretty cool, and then the bathtub here, oh, it's a decent sized tub too. And let's go see here, living room, sitting area, desk, this part here is the duplex. Yup, mm, this part is nice. Always kind of wanted to live in a loft, but you know, maybe after staying here for a bit I'll find that climbing stairs to get to your bed is kind of overrated. Yeah, not bad. So I'm in a cafe in my hometown. Uh, and like when they talk about China kind of reusing Western icons and brands, I would say like 50% of the cafes I've seen here have green circular logos, very similar to Starbucks. And this one actually has a logo of Ted, like the bear from Boston. Yeah, it's actually really funny. actually made it back to my dad's village. So this is the place where my dad grew up. And I've actually I was actually back here in 2014 and you know the place hasn't really changed much but I think for my dad it's definitely changed a lot obviously. But yeah it's really cool to see how modern technology has kind of gotten itself into the village and these small rural parts of China.
Right now it's about 8 a.m. and just woke up in Taishan and what a way to start the morning. I'm gonna go soak in some natural hot springs or water, trickles from natural hot springs, but all the same. So now we've made it to some village near where my mom lives. We're in like an actual village. There's like rice paddies and farms in here and everything. And here we are here for a true farm to table experience. So we're done with dinner and dinner was good. The food was definitely very fresh and especially the seafood. But was it worth being out in the middle of nowhere being fed to mosquitoes? Eh, maybe. But if you don't mind, definitely worth trying out.